Hello, my food mood friend. How you doing? Welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. 90% of people watching these videos are not subscribed or followed. Come on, let's do it. Now, I want to get into the topic today of good fall, good fail. Welcome. Here is your hostess and coach, Chandra Zoss helping people make food and mood changes doable without missing out. Go ahead, high five that like button, subscribe and share while you're there. So this is inspired because my little one, we have this uh, these bar stools, we have a bar and a bar stools, and she has been playing with uh, the tipping and the moving and she has fallen off the bar stools a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. And she had, we had this hilarious moment where she like, <laughs> she, she fell off the bar stool and it wasn't a bad fall. Like she hit, she hit the ground and it wasn't like, you know, she didn't have a super bad fall, but she like the hilarious part was she pops up and she goes, good fall. <laughs> and I just laughed and I loved it because where this all started was that my partner and I, in the beginning, when our little one was little, we really talked about falling and the mindset behind falling. And we're rock climbers. And so rock climbing, like I, I am a rock climber. I'm, I'm still like a pretty, pretty beginner rock climber. I'm just barely, I can barely call myself a rock climber. I'm like not very good. And one of the things that really, really holds me back is that I am really scared of falling and I'm scared of spraining an ankle. There's a little part of me that's scared of dying, even though we do sport climbing, which is very safe. There's, I'm scared of falling. And one of the things on my to-do list is to practice falling, to like literally practice letting go of the wall and taking like a big fall and swinging in the air and feeling that big dip. And then where gravity, like you, we know before you catch, it's like, oh, just thinking about it, it's like scary. Just a little bit of practice falling a couple years ago and it was like, wow, I was, I'm a screamer. I like to, I, I reflex scream when I fall. Oh, so falling, the fear of falling is really holds my climbing back. Like because I'm so scared of climbing, of falling, I often don't take risks and I don't do things that I might fall at. So my climbing is really hindered. And so my, my, my man and I, we talk a lot about, hello, my friend, how are you? I'm in the Dead Sea floating in the water. Go ahead and like and share and follow so we can keep in touch. Climbing, we talk a lot about falling. And as our little one was learning how to walk, we like really kind of saw the parallels. And in my coaching world, I, I help people and I coach people a lot about like the fear of failure. Like the fear of failure is a really normal thing. Like we're scared to fail. And so most of the time we don't try to do things that we might fail at. Just like I don't try to climb harder routes because I'm scared of falling. So we made this cool connection as our little one was learning how to walk between falling and failing. Like, you know, if we're, if a little baby is scared of falling, like they might never learn how to walk. Like, right? Like f falling is a part of learning how to walk. Failing is a part of learning how to do new things and try new things and succeed at things that we've never done before and that we might and will fail at. So here's the cool thing, like in order to get to, in order to succeed, in order to reach a big goal and to do something hard and overcome something, there is failure that is a part of the equation. Like there is a necessary, one of my, my, my coaching teacher, Brooke Castillo, she has the quote, and I might botch this a little bit, but Failure is the, no, no, no. The road, the, the path to your dreams is, is paved with failures. Oh, I think I'm totally botching that quote. Something like that. You get the idea. So in order to get to a goal, in order to do something hard, we need to be able to fail. So my partner and I, we talked about this as our little one was learning how to walk. We're like, we want her to embrace and falling as a lifelong mindset that it's okay to fail and that failure is okay, that there's not a problem with failing and there's not a problem with falling. And we really think about this as like a mindset for her for life. So when she fell off the bar stool <laughs> and she pops her head up and she says, good fall, mommy, I just was like, yes, we're doing it. And she is an incredible faller. Like she really, you know, in the beginning when she was first learning how to walk and she was taking all these falls, we had to totally like hold ourselves back from like overreacting and making it seem like it was this bad 
thing. And like, really, we had to do a lot of our own internal self coaching of like, okay, how do we like, let her know it's okay. And that it's like, it's okay to fall. There's nothing's gone wrong. And you know, a lot of times when parents react to their kids falling, they actually give their kids the signal that something bad has happened. And the kid reacts to the parents' emotions because parents and, and kids' emotions are really intertwined. So it's like one of the best things that we can do is like keep our calm and like go, go over to them calmly and let them know it's okay that they fail. So we did this, we did this like every day for a long time. And now she's like this awesome faller. She like takes these, she jumps and she takes these risks and she falls in these really well ways. Like sh she doesn't really take bad falls. Granted, probably some of it is because she's very coordinated but is she coordinated because we've let her play so much and experiment with falling? And of course, like I always, you know, safety, safety is important. So I'll always look around and make sure there's nothing like sharp or something that's gonna land us in a hospital or, you know, like we're I'm not saying that we're just letting her fall on everything, but I look around and like, is this a, a safe place for her to fall? Is there nothing sharp or nothing, you know, there's the ground is hard. <laughs> there was a moment we were in Spain, we were at a park and the, the park had a really, really soft uh, cushioned the whole entire park. It was a very, very soft ground. And our little one, she was, how old was she at the time? Two, little over two, I think at the time. And she was uh, climbed up this slide and all the parents are kind of like looking at us like, you're letting her climb up the slide. We've always let her climb up the slide because we're letting her fall. And she fell off the top. She fell off the off the side. She didn't fall down the slide. She fell off the top. I think it was only like maybe six feet or something. <laughs> and all the parents freaked out. And we were like, we kept our calm. We're like, we knew it was a soft ground. There was no like, there wasn't like crazy pavement. There was nothing sharp down there. And all the parents were like shocked at our reaction and our allowing her to fall and allowing her to climb and that's our philosophy with life. I mean, we're rock climbers where I, I have still have it on my to-do list is to practice falling. My partner is listening to me say this. He's probably going to nudge me into that. It's time for me to practice falling. It is probably time for me to practice falling because not falling and being so scared of falling is really holding my climbing back. Just like in life, if we're scared to fail, then it holds us back from going after the things that we're going to fall and fail at. All right, parenting mindset for life, for ourself, for our little ones. Falling is not a problem. Failing is not a problem. What if that was true in your brain? Have you ever looked into your brain and figured out what your beliefs on are of failing and falling? Because most of us, our default belief and thought is that they're bad and to avoid them at all costs because our brain is trying to help us survive. Make sure, insert, ensure survival. That means not falling, not taking risks, not failing, not feeling like a failure. There's a, a lot of power into rewriting those stories and deciding what we want to believe about falling and failing on purpose. Really, really powerful work. All right. If you want to implement this into your life, come get a hold of me. Let's work together. I can help you. And go after something big and practice failing, practice falling. Maybe you'll make a video of me learning how to fall climbing. All right. See you soon. Bye.